Hi, it's Jason from Activated. Today we're going to talk about interplay of energy systems, and we're going to use the 400 metres as an example. So it's fair to assume at the start of the 400 metres that the athletes are beginning with almost the full complement of CP stores. And what that means is that from the, at the beginning of the event, the ATP CP system will be predominant. So we're going to watch the race and pause throughout and talk about uh, energy system predominance and fuel stores. So let's watch. So at this point in time, they're working at maximal intensity, accelerating up to running speed. The predominant supplier of ATP is the ATP-CP system, and the fuel source is creatine phosphate, which is a chemical fuel stored within the muscle. So at this stage, around about seven seconds into the race, CP stores will be depleting. Uh, at a fairly rapid rate, uh, and the anaerobic glycolysis system will be becoming the predominant supplier of ATP. And that's because CP stores are depleted, and it means that the ATP-CP system can't make the ATP that it was previously. But also, the athletes haven't been working long enough for oxygen uptake to reach a level where the aerobic system can be the main supplier of ATP. As a result, anaerobic glycolysis, which provides ATP at a reasonably high rate and allows us to compete at a high intensity, uh, becomes the main supplier of ATP. Gone off well, there's little to choose between them. Sanford of Israel has made his usual fine start. Garcia going strongly on the outside. Conrad Williams in the red headband in the middle. The Hudson Smith is now eating up the stack. So at this point in time, anaerobic glycolysis is the predominant supplier of ATP. It's still a really high intensity effort, but it's gone longer than 10 seconds. CP has been depleted and can't be replenished. And the fuel store here is glycogen. Anaerobic glycolysis uses glycogen um, to produce ATP, but because there's no oxygen present, um, we're left with a byproduct of lactate and hydrogen ions, um, and if left unchecked, that causes fatigue. Okay, so at around about the 30 second mark, it's, it's generally accepted that oxygen uptake will have reached the level where the aerobic system can be the main supplier of ATP. Now don't be confused here, anaerobic glycolysis is still a significant contributor of ATP, and the ATP-CP system is only a very, very minor contributor due to the fact that CP is depleted uh, and can't be replenished without a passive recovery. But at this point, the aerobic system is, has become the main supplier of ATP. Well, there's not much to choose the trainers. They come off the bend. The two British athletes in the centre, Williams and Hudson Smith and Rooney. Now clearly because at this stage the aerobic system is predominant, the main fuel here is glycogen. Uh, fats would only be a very minor fuel, fuel source being used due to the high intensity effort required and the long, uh, the long series of reactions required to break down fats and the relatively low rate of ATP production that results. So glycogen would be the main fuel source at this point. Tuzavino on the inside. Rooney is running strongly. Further over. Hudson Smith finishing strongly. Can he get there? No. So the race is finished and, at the, and it's taken nearly 45 seconds. And so at the completion of the race, the predominant supplier of ATP is the aerobic system. And that's because oxygen uptake has reached a level that allows the aerobic system to produce the bulk of the ATP required for the work. If you were to ask about uh, which energy system has supplied the most ATP across the full duration of the event, you would find that it's probably anaerobic glycolysis. Um, it's a high-intensity event. It's relatively short. Um, but that's quite different to asking about which energy system is predominant at a particular point in time. I hope that's useful. Um, stay tuned for more uh, video podcasts uh, and visit our website, uh, later in the year for information about our end of year exam preparation lectures. Oh, really went it. Hutchins Smith is in second place. Sanford takes the ball.